So today we are talking about how to decorate a toddler girl bedroom. Hi, I'm Linda with Life on Summer Hill and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. So today we're talking about how to decorate a little girl's room, specifically the toddler age. And I just recently did my niece's bedroom. So I'm gonna use it as an example of what to do to decorate your toddler's bedroom. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we decorated my niece's bedroom in a rainbow theme. And the first thing we did was we created a rainbow accent wall. Oh, an accent wall is a great way to just fill a child's room full of imagination. So put first on your list to do an accent wall and painting one is a simple and easy way to do that. And I have a whole YouTube video and blog post that'll walk you through how easy it is to make this rainbow wall. And I'll put that in the description. Next is the bedding. Because the bed takes up most of space in the room, it's a good idea to really look at that spot for decorating. And I like to go with softer materials and pastel colors or bright colors. Um, and I love adding a stuffed animal as the decoration on the bed because we are talking about toddlers, right? And toddlers love stuffed animals. So add that stuffed animal as a decoration that they can play with. Throw some accent pillows and you've got the easiest toddler friendly bed. Now, let's talk about wall art. One of the cheapest and easiest ways to get wall art for a toddler girl bedroom is to shop for printables on Etsy. I actually have an Etsy shop, so I will link here in the description below. Now, these printables in my niece's bedroom are actually in our children's shop, but we have tons more, so go check it out or just search on Etsy for printable girl wall art. Next, let's look at decorations for a toddler's room. A bookcase is a great place to begin, and let me explain why. You can put decorations on the bookcase, books on the bookcase, baskets with toys or their socks or clothes, anything can go in baskets, and baskets solve a lot of your storage issues. So. Look at adding a bookcase to their room, add some decorations to their bookcase, and some useful things like books, toys and baskets, or even clothes and baskets. Now, another fun thing you can add to a toddler girl's bedroom is a, a DIY project that they can actually help you with. And here's a little pom-pom garland idea that we used on my niece's mirror. Now, I have a whole DIY on that on my website, so I'll put that link in the description below. And simply just take that pom-pom garland, that yarn, and match it up to the colors in the rainbow or the mural that you have put on the wall. Next, sprinkle some more decorations around the room to make it fun. I love to use children's books as a part of the decoration. So you can put the front of one book on a shelf kind of as a decoration, especially if it's a beautiful cover to a book. And then you can stack books to sit things on like this llama. And then last, make sure that the nightstand of this little toddler girl's bedroom is clear of a lot of stuff. So they can put books there or toys there. They can have a lamp, anything that's useful for bedtime. Because if I, there's one time a day that I remember just really enjoying with my daughters when they were little girls was bedtime. We would sing songs, we would read books, and we would just spend time talking. I was amazed at all the things they would tell me about their day at bedtime. So leave that nightstand open and decorate on the nightstand minimally so you can put more useful, thi useful things there. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. You might be asking, where's the toy box in this little girl's room? Well, they actually have a playroom, so they don't need a toy box in their bedroom. 
But if your children play in their bedroom, you'll need to find a place for a toy box or add more baskets to those shelves. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. Happy decorating and we'll see you soon.